Here we go again. We're back with more Pro Cycling Manager Season 2014. This time we have arrived at the Settimana Internationale Coppi e Bartali. It's a tribute race to two of the greatest Italian legends of all time, Coppi and Bartali, who raced against each other for Tour de France and Judy Teller Glory in the late 40s, early 50s, before being taken over by the French duels between Antilique and then we had Merckx and so on, so on, so on. These are really the first, Carpe especially, was the first big cycle star ever. We had, before the World War II, we had some pretty stars, pretty good, pretty big stars, but Carpe and Bartoli really had this duel which just, you either hated or loved either one of them. You had, everybody had their favorite and Kami was the common man's favorite, so most people liked him more than Bartoli. I, of course, I never s s seen them race because I'm, well, I'm only like 21 years old now. And, but yeah, let's just move on to race. We've already gone through the first two stages. Let's see the results. I haven't, well, I haven't done any video about them. But the first stage, second with Viviani. And you see him already first at the second stage because in the second stage we had a team time trial. And I won it, apparently I didn't even pick a team who was supposed to be good at team time trials. It was a complete accident. But I got a... I got a, what's it called, an achievement for it. So that's something at least. And this is the first hill stage. I, my captain is Aru. So hopefully he can do pretty well. Um, I have the top 8 spots in the under 25 classification right now. That's pretty funny. So hopefully Aru can do pretty well this time. I don't know what competition I'm up against but I need to get top 5 and looking at the competition right now I feel like that's a strong possibility that will actually that will actually happen I like the Christina Watches team to have all of the the guys who have previously been caught doping or something like Stefan Schumacher I'm actually the favorite so maybe I shouldn't maybe I should just have to talk with Mo Mosa because who seems to be actually a bit overpowered for this race. But that's okay, I need, it. I need to make my sponsors a bit heavy. So who's my second best in the hills? I think it's really this Dutch guy. And we can't, we can have someone particularly behind because he's in the green jersey right now. Uh, not the green jersey, the leading jersey. Which is yellow. Apparently. Seems like it's this guy. Okay, so Vivian is here. Then we can have Pinot was who's the second best guy? Was still linear right. Okay. I would probably we have like Govertz, Pangao, Pino can pull in front of Peloton. And Viviani and Aho can just be on 99 from now on. So they can hold the position in the front of the belt on. Let's just speed up a bit. Pretty big breakaway at the mountain jersey as well. Can't even find the mountain jersey. What color is it? Ah, doesn't really matter. Let's see. Ranking mountain. Oh, he's sitting here behind them all. It's not even, that's not a very recognizable mountain jersey. I have to say, that's pretty horrible design. Abbott is going to be getting balls today. Apparently, he has fallen off the pace. So, that's pretty sad, I have to say. But it's okay. It's okay, we can still make it up. Apparently we already did. So now I can just get some bottles and drive all the way for the Peloton. Let's see, up in front. I have to pause it a bit because I feel like Aru and Viviani should sit about here instead right now because the lead up men are losing a lot of energy right already. It should be these three guys losing the energy right now, not the rest of the team. So, first hill, 12% climb, pretty steep, seems like we're going in a kind 
kind of a a circle. So we're going to pass the same hills a couple of times. Looks like four times actually. Which means that at least I know the that be still, there will be some pretty steep parts. I, I can already tell that. Because if that part was so steep, then this seems a lot steeper just by looking at it on the map. Then just look at the profile actually. Yeah, this part was probably the 12 percent part, and there are some not as steep as this small part right here, but it's longer and it's average gradient is probably steeper than this one is. So it should be pretty fun to see what's going on. Get some more water up front, as we can. I have four guys in the breakaway. I'm going. I want to go solo today because I feel like I have to. Honestly, I know I have like six seconds lead to Frank. Tia Longo as well, pretty good rider. But it's, it's going to be like which is Frank and me battling out for the win. Rebellion is pretty good still, actually. Petrov, not as good as I thought. Tia Longo has the mountain skills. I feel like I still, I'm, I'm still a favorite, even though I'm not in, in perfect fitness. I still have a chance to do well. Okay, so now we set, set the pace a bit higher. Govet's almost dead. He's shown to be one of the weakest guys on my team a lot of times now. And probably not. I failed to get his contract extended. He's best, one of my best couple riders, but my team isn't really set for dominating couple classics right now. More the small Italian one day classics. I feel like I should just let him fall down to the Belton. He has done his job. He's fourth of all, but now he's not fourth of all after this stage. I can already guarantee you that. Viviani can't keep up anymore as well. They're really setting a tough pace. Pankar and Pino. They have, they have pretty good stats as well. And around 70 is pretty good because of this peloton, which is honestly pretty weak. Oh, his helper, Pouviet, couldn't even keep up anymore. Two riders. This is the mountain sprint, but there's apparently only a mountain sprint every second hill. So, yeah. I don't know about that, but I don't, I don't really care. Vivian is still there, so where's the linear in the white jersey? Govats keeps on. Just keeps on. Abbott, I feel like he's going to fall behind now. Uh, I fear this person's going to break in half, honestly. Let's see if he can make it on. If he can hang on. Go guys, I don't care about him. He can fall off if he, if he wants to. I'm going to attack. I don't know why I'm going to attack. Just because I want to make it up to the crew with Abbott because he still has a lot of energy left. He shouldn't be falling off already. Are you kidding me? Please hang on, Abbott. Pretty annoying downhill section this right here. Okay, so I hopefully ever can make it up until we start the next hill with some water. Seems like he can't. They, I like it when the cars just have no fixes in them at all. It always happens. Doesn't seem like he can make it up again. He tries really hard actually. Pretty impressed by that. Attack from Bisolti. Yeah, but still goes solo. <laughs> it's already overtaken like 30 guys and thrown up by himself to this peloton right here. I'm just going to use his snack bar because why not? I've lowered the pace a bit because I wanted Abbott to have a better chance at making up front. We have started the next hill, so now it's 
going to get really tough for Abbott to get through. But the person's smaller, so at least the person on the side is there's... Oh, a crash. Let's see who crashed. Uh, anybody particular exciting? Babin, 75. Rosa, 74. 74. Valgren. Some okay riders, not on the top favorites, but Sex to think of, for example, is dropping their riders back down to see what happens. We're going to set a bit tougher pace again because it would be pretty funny if we could eliminate some of the competition. Making a top 5 placement in this race a lot easier if we can already eliminate like some of the pretty strong favorites already. I really hope that Apple can make it up. It seems like he's struggling a bit right now. I don't know if he's struggling with the pace or if he's struggling with just overtaking some of the other riders right now. Seems like he's struggling with the pace, honestly. He can't make it up, I think. Viviane again, struggling. Oh, he's close to Aru now. Come on, Aru is the most important guy. If he gets it. Who cares about all the other guys? Oh my god, he was so close and then he got stuck behind. Uh, that's really annoying, honestly. Hey, Stellini got water. That's one of the riders done. Petrov attacks. Emilia, Frank. I don't really care that much about it. Abbott got water up. He can relax now, fall down through the Pilton. So we have all the favorites up here, and I'm the only one not up there actually. Let's just let everybody relax for the rest of the day now. There's not really anything they can do anymore. I misclicked. Put, them, put all of them on 50 and then let's hope I can keep up with the guys up front. So Petrov is the only guy who has got a like third second lead not, not right now. But he's not, not that good in mountains and as the mountains is later on I feel like I can make that time back again later on. Okay, so now we have 15 guys. I have my O here. That's three Skyriders out of a five Skyrider team. That's pretty good by them, honestly. Pankow seems to be in good shape. He's still up here at the front. That's pretty surprising. So now the question is, I have water. That's not the problem right now. Petrov got caught by the group again. Two more riders trying to close the gap. I don't really know. There are probably some riders down here who should not be down here. But most of the riders I feel like is up in this group. 16 men. And I need to get sub 5. That's the goal for my sponsors. If you didn't know. <laughs> I have said it like 10 times now. So we're nearing the end of the descent and nearing the start of the last climb of today. Pankow cannot. Piracci, Rebellin. Frank is still sitting down here. I'm blocking some of the riders so they have to use some energy to get back. <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> Aru seems to be struggling to just keep the hold of Elmiga's leg. He 
He doesn't seem to be in as good shape as I thought. Maybe top 5 is going to be a lot harder than I thought, apparently. I don't really know if I even have the power to attack, if I should just play defensive right now and sit on the wheels. I think I've overestimated my skill level quite a bit. 9 riders right now. Don't know how far we have to the top. Seems like we are about halfway up. But it's going pretty slow, because people are catching up to us. Every every corner someone is catching up. Petrov. Some of the riders who crashed earlier are also pretty close. Who sits pretty nicely right now. feel like he's losing a bit too much power right now. But I don't want to put him like too far behind. I feel like that that's the last hill today. The rest of the the day is downhill right now. So hmm whose wheel should I should I suck? Should I just no lay on the wheel of some la some of the front riders up here? <laughs> that's not really it. that's not really anybody leading the race right now. It's just like no one really knows what to do, and I can't I can't really pick a wheel sit on because. Everybody just overtakes each other all the time. Okay, so now's the final sprint. I feel like Bonjour is going to win this. Reichenbach is apparently strongest in this group. This is a pretty tight corner. This car is still parked here. Just as last time we passed here. Okay. It's going to gain about 10 seconds to the rest of the group, it seems like. Just Frank was the strongest. I'm going to get like 8th or 9th, I think. 8th, I think, yeah. So that's that's pretty okay. I can I can live with that. That's not bad at all. Eighth place. Didn't lose that much time. It's okay. It's okay. Pankara still sits here. Herbert still sits here. Let's see him just he could have he could have been a lot farther up. I feel like I should put Abbott protecting oh instead of Pouvier. Because he seems pretty weak honestly. Bosic, good sprinter. Beat the other riders by far in this sprint. Let's just get everybody over the finish line now. Kriegbaum and Beckhoy, two Danish riders. Looking pretty sad. <laughs> Long way back. I feel. I think I'm still in the yellow jersey, but uh, of course it's Saho instead of Viviane now. I win. It. You can't even fit the whole title on this newspaper. But that's <laughs> so stupid. Oh, I didn't lose any seconds at all. Funk, because of the bonus seconds, because he got second. It's taken over the jersey for me. But that's really good. I don't care about that right now. So yeah, I am cycling has a pretty strong team. Going to be tough to beat, but as a month stage, and I think I can, um, I have more chance of beating Frank at the month stage than I have on the hill stage. But there's still a uh, time trial as well. But yeah, this is the month stage we're going to drive in the next video. Thank you guys very much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.